right, I have to document this part because it was, I don't know, probably a miracle. <laughs> probably a miracle. Uh, after I, what I did, I put this module here and I put all the wire. I don't want to touch with the metal because uh, this period of the year, the air is uh, quite dry. It's middle of the winter and uh, the air is dry and uh, actually right now I'm connected to, to this contraption that I have here, you see, I put uh, I put myself to the ground, directly to the ground, it's directly here. I, I read somewhere, uh, yesterday I, I, I get a reading, not to do it like I'm doing it, but it's very, very uh, straightforward, you know, it's very straightforward. Uh, if you don't work with uh, high voltages high, uh, and not keeping uh, on the power sources, uh, there are also like, uh, some kind of leakages, even if the sources are uh, off, both of them. Uh, but those leakages are like uh, the very small uh, pinches, you know, very fast pinches, uh, more annoying than dangerous, you know, and, uh, it's okay, it's fine, it's, uh, I don't like them and I try to avoid them, but this period of year, specifically in the winter and in the middle of the uh, summer, when the air is dry, the um, electrostatic uh, builds up on everything, on your hands, on the pins of the, every, everywhere, everywhere the electrostatic is building up, and uh, even on the plastic, on the surface of the plastic, uh, everywhere, and you, if you touch it, of this lead, or, or this resistor, or, or this metal of the resistor, if you touch it a little bit, uh, either uh, right now it's, it's pinching me because it's, it's kind of a, uh, I have a connection there. But the idea is that you, you either you you discharge a couple of kilovolts or tens or hundreds of kilovolts, probably more than more like ten kilovolts uh, in in order of tens, like twenty to thirty kilovolts. That's the human uh, the static discharge or something, electrostatic discharge, uh, like twenty or thirty kilovolts. Uh, very in, in a nanosecond it is happening. You don't. It's impossible to see with the naked eye, but it's happening that fast. It's it's frying in a nanosecond whatever it want it needs to fry. So uh, I was mounting this and I'm using this. Um, Tooth stick, huh? and uh, I uh, because I don't want to touch with metal uh, anywhere, and I'm using this isolator here uh, to to show you. So I put these wires that are from each output from there, from there, from there, and from there. And I also draw a line. I put a hole there, 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 and there, and this is the actual wire here that is connecting to there. And uh, uh, for each pad output from these uh, modules, I put these transistors. Uh, uh, these pins of the transistors. I have uh, where are you? Here, here are you. I have a diagram. Uh, this is the view when you see it exactly like here, when you see it from top down. Uh, this was the first one I drew. And then I put the ensemble view when everything is uh, with the pins up to ensemble it, to, to solder it, th uh, this view here. And this is the diagram, what it means, and how everything is uh, built up. And uh, this is how you are seeing it here. Actually, I can do it like this, very, very easy to, to see it. Like that, you see? And that's the collectors, these pins here are the collectors. Uh, and here are the emitters, which are the outputs. I actually put their outputs and inputs. And I built this, uh, this secondary module that is not connected absolutely to anything. Uh, it was exactly the same as this one, but I had to, to fit it here. So I, I cut a little bit from it, this part. And I bend the resistor and I will drag the output from it. Uh, actually, uh, here is the input. Uh, uh, the output is for these pins, it means. But here uh, on the resistor uh, is the input for uh, for activating uh, this module uh, or, or this module. So pretty much this is uh, what I did here with this module. But when I, uh, I, uh, I, I took out the wires, because it was having uh, these wires here that I have uh, linked uh, from this board to this board, uh, to these rails here, uh, from, from that, from these outputs here. Uh, when I took the, uh, them out, I, I had to glue everything. As you can see, I put a new cardboard here, uh, a bigger cardboard that uh, I glue everything on it. Uh, that module, this module, and these two other uh, uh, small modules. And I still have to add this switch between these two uh, uh, <clears throat> modules. I don't know how to call them. Uh, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's... Uh... And uh, after I, I build, as you can see it right now, in, uh, uh, except this module, because today I, I made this module. But uh, yesterday, when I only made this module, and uh, I linked all the wires, and I glue everything, and uh, uh, I finished. So imagine this module was not here. And when I powered it up, it didn't work at all. N uh, neither of 4017, uh, uh, not uh, one nor the other. And I swear to God, I didn't touch them. I didn't do anything to them. Uh, I only took the output from this uh, outputs, uh, the, the wires, and connect them. I what I did here? I did connect something actually. I did connect this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I connect this these wires here <coughs> to these uh, rails here, as you can see. You see, and I put a, a mark. I, I I pinched. I put a hole through the cardboard, and this is the wire that is going through there. So yeah, actually, I did uh, uh, um, make the connection from this pad to all these rails here. And these are the wires that are going to each corresponding rail. Uh, this last one is going to the uh, to the bottom one that you're seeing there. And the second one is there. That one, this is the third, which is uh, this one here. I think. This one, this one. And this is the fourth one, which is this one. And uh, it, it's pretty much, there are some wires that are uh, staying in air, like, like you know, suspended in air, and punched through the cardboard and connected there. And when I tested, after I, I uh, glued everything, after I, I soldered everything, I made the test. And when I was switching here, nothing happened. And I was so depressed because I burned another two, Another two uh, chips, and I was so depressed, so uh, fucking hell. I wanted to uh, that the the idea of giving up of the uh, on the entire project. I just said fuck this up. I don't uh, nah. <laughs> I don't want to make it anymore. But I cool down. I, I say I watch a good movie, a good series actually, uh, a good season, and uh, and then I said to myself, well, today let's build the second one, this module here, and uh, 
then I, I thought maybe maybe the, the 4070 it's impossible to, to to burn like that that easily from from nothing pretty much from nothing because I was working all the time I was working like I'm I'm working right now I, I'm connected myself to the ground I, I put myself to the ground I was having uh, I uh, I was protecting uh, the circuit from electrostatic discharge uh, by earthing myself and uh, so, uh, it, it was impossible I mean in my mind it, it's just uh, science fiction this was science fiction what was happening how the hell those two two of them not only one two of them burned out and. Uh, and today, after I, I finished building and gluing this board, but it's not connecting uh, to anything, I said to myself, uh, let's let's see if, uh, because I don't believe uh, both of them to be uh, burned, and I, I thought maybe one of the pins of it, or one of the output is uh, is active. So uh, even if all the outputs that I'm having there, uh, all the wires that you see there are uh, burned, I, I was presuming, presuming that all the outputs that I have, the connection already right now that you are seeing there, all the wires that are coming from those pins, uh, I was presuming that they are burned. So uh, my, my thought was maybe other outputs because it's having 10 outputs in total and I'm only using only four of them four outputs so I, I have six other outputs that I can test them and I built this uh very high-tech tester this is a tester to test and even the lead is not that good it's not that sensitive as the uh, bright new bright this is very old probably the first when they first try to make the this kind of uh, super bright uh LEDs here that I'm using right now I'm using this are uh, super bright super bright also this two but this uh, what I'm having here is not that super bright it is kind of super bright but not that sensitive as uh, this latest generation are uh, it was like a uh, steps of evolution and this was the shitty <laughs> evolution uh, that I catch it from a uh, uh, from a uh, I, I took it out from a uh, uh, lighter a lighter you know when you light uh, your cigarette they have uh, in the back they have a LED and I took the, the, a couple of those LEDs uh, when I was younger I was collecting them because these LEDs were cheaper in the lighter than it was to buy them from the electronic uh, shop in the electronic shop it was uh, five lay one LED one single LED was five lay and uh, the lighter with the LED inside uh, was one low so the difference was uh, five times uh, you know it, it, those are idiots uh, <laughs> who are uh, making the prices on the electronic shop especially here in my town which is a very poor town and a shitty town but uh, that's a uh, uh, that's the history of this LED and this uh, very high tech, uh, very extravagant way of detecting. This is a detector, and I I, I put this uh, um, yellow wire to the ground. Here is the ground. This long uh, track that you see here is also saying there. It, it means ground. It's a convenient uh, and easy to access, uh, you know, uh, uh, rail uh, for the ground. I have other uh, points somewhere there, but uh, I put it here. Uh, and then with with the positive, this is the positive uh, leg of the LED. Uh, for, with the positive, I was touching, I was touching the clock. I was touching the five volts, and the clock was working, and the LED was bleeping all the time. And uh, when I touched the five volts here, it was lighting on uh, fully. But when I touch here, uh, I've also touched some outputs there and nothing happened. And when I touch, oh, <laughs> because I'm grounded <laughs> right now, and I got a little shock, uh, a little surge. Probably there are some capacitors here that are not completely discharged. That's why I'm getting a little bit of zaps. Even everything is powered off. It is not, nothing is working, but I still get a little bit. Uh, when, I, I'm, when I am grounded, no, that's the problem. So uh, I touch this pin here with the positive leg of the LED. It should have been open. I switched from here and I put it here. Also, this is the positive uh, leg of the chip. This is the chip that is getting the power from, from the plus five volts from here. It is a direct link link to one of these two pins, this pin or this pin. Uh, this pin is for this chip. Is uh, I actually draw it here. And this pin of the chip, switch here is connected to the to here, to this pin. So that's the logic that I have here. And in the middle, I have this track. You see it, this little track. And this track uh, is switching from this track to this pin or the other pin when I'm pressing the button. And uh, when I put here, nothing happened, nothing lit up. Even if it was switched to the correct, uh, because the LED was working. The LED was working. Uh, I have a, a track, a continuous track from here to this pin here, but also it is continuing underneath to this pin here. No, to this pin of the, uh, to this leg of the resistor under the board and is passing the current through the resistor and the resistor is catched to this pin in the middle of this uh, switch. And when I'm switching either of the LEDs, they are, uh, 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 they are getting the same low current through this uh, one kilo. Both of the LEDs was litting because I have that track that is going underneath. So that was a very, very big mystery. Why the hell I don't get a connection direct from there to here to the legs of the chips? And then I, I realized probably something is lift up, is uh, dissolved or something. And I look more closely here on this connection to the middle pin from this uh, metal uh, wire here that I have to this metal uh, slip. And I swear to God, I, I put my, my tweezer I put my tweezer on it and I did this and I, I because it's it's a quite a thick uh, wire I couldn't really really get that is moving but that it was suggesting me that it is moving a little bit because the wire is pretty thick and uh, is uh, kind of uh, hard to bend uh, because of its thickness so I couldn't really really see that it is uh, also when I was pressing I was feeling a very infinitesimal slight movement and then I, I understood this motherfucker was not was was like probably one nanometer so let me draw it for you so uh, the, this is the wire here and this is the pn probably like this, with an, an incredible small gap, it just uh, spring up, you know, from the from the pin, from the leg of the of the switch. This is the switch here that is continuing somewhere there, and this is the button. And uh, this spring up because it was like, like a spring, like, like this, you know, like when, when you 
release it. It's, it's doing like that, you know? <laughs> like this. And it's saying, uh, uh, spring up. And uh, it was the, the gap, the difference was extremely um, small. And I, I literally couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. And if I was touching, because the, the difference, the, the the distance was so small, I couldn't see move see it move it at all. But uh, kind of, I kind of see it. Uh, it was logic. It was logic. The logic was there. I was uh, thinking maybe it's something underneath, but this was pretty evident that was something wrong here. And when I connected, uh, and I, and I, uh, I, uh, I drag it even forcefully with more force up with the, with the tweezer. I, I drag it very, very forcefully until I bend it. Actually, I bend it, uh, it until up, and then when I release it, it, it came down uh, because it was again springy. And when I, I soldered that motherfucker, now when I'm powered on, everything is working again. Motherfucker, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm very, very happy. Uh, right now, nothing is working here because I have to uh, connect them through this. Uh, uh, module here. I'm, I'm super happy. So uh, I have a plus. This wire, this green wire, I have it from the positive here. And if I'm touching here, you see it's connecting to this mode that I'm having here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, but uh, and if I'm switching like this, you see, it is. Uh, yeah, I should remedy. I should probably switch the. <laughs> yeah, shit. The wires, all the, those four wires, to to switch it. This instead of being there to be on the first. Uh, to be in the same sense, that's the... Uh, I didn't realize that. Shit. But it is working. It is working now and I'm very, very happy. Very happy. I'm absolutely ex 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 uh, ecstatic. <laughs> uh, this uh, this is for... Uh, this um, switch here for uh, outputs switch is for this module. And this module, little module here, is for that module there. So it's making the switch between these two modules. These two uh, mo uh, small arrangements that I have here. And uh, I, put a, I will put a positive here on the middle. And uh, one of the positive will go here, and another to the other one. And when I will switch on one side or the other, it will switch between these two modules, and it will give me the output uh, on this chip that I have here, uh, as I, I'm having right now. Uh, it's still uh, the, the breadboard there; it, it remained there. And uh, pretty much this is it. I, this is a mi miracle. This was a miracle, and a very stupid, very very stupid uh, mistake. I was, I, I swear to God, I was uh, very uh, and seriously, I, I was believing. That the chips are burned. I was so sure they are burned, bo both of them. I was uh, thinking to, to take them out, to desolder them out from, from there and, uh, and and put another new ones uh, instead of them. And now they are absolutely fine. Holy shit, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Incredible, incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, uh, that's uh, the power of uh, of not giving up, insisting, you know, uh, to, to push it, to push it forward. Even if you are depressed, even, even if you are uh, upset on anything that may happen, you have to push it forward. And uh, with some luck, you have, if you have some luck, like I had this little uh, uh, bastard here, uh, it give me the answer. This guy here, this give me the, the right answer. What what, what it was? <laughs> incredible, incredible, absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. These two chips didn't burn because it was so much work to replace them. And uh, and even if I was replacing one of them, it was still not working because the cause was from the other side. I'm so happy I didn't have to replace them. And I'm happy that I, they are absolutely fine right now. And I'm very happy that this uh, protection that I put here on my arm here worked because I did. Finger everything that I have there, and I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe the, the the resistivity of the body, the human body, uh, was uh, was was uh, impeding the transfer of the uh, electrostatic discharge, electrostatic uh, uh, accumulation was uh, was not fast, not that fast surging through the resi resistivity of the body, uh, because my body is having a, a certain resistance. I believe five kilo, twenty kilo ohms. I, I have to check it out. I don't. I know. I know there is a resistivity, but I, I have to check which uh, how much it is. And uh, I was thinking maybe the build up of the electrostatic charge. It's so fast. It's faster than it is surging through me, uh, to the ground, and that's why those two were burned. That's what that was the explanation that I could came with. And uh, my solution, my next solution was to put here on my palm here uh, a similar, a similar white band, the elastic white band that I have there, but on the palm here, uh, all around, and the metal to be directly uh, in my palm or, or here on the top, and uh, to be very close to my fingertips. You know, the discharge to be very close. To the earthing connection, pretty much. That was the idea, and it's very, very inconvenient to work like that. Very, very inconvenient. I don't like it, and I'm very happy right now because this is not a problem anymore. Because uh, by earthing myself like I am right now, like I am right now here, is good enough. It's good enough, and nothing actually burned out. And I'm so happy for m multiple reasons. So, yeah, it was. I wasn't expecting. I, I literally wasn't expecting. I was so sure they are burned. I was so sure. I, I was completely 100% they are burned, both of them. And I was thinking, why other? Stuff is not burned, and only these guys here, here are burned. And I was suspecting also the input of them was burned, the clock input. And I was uh, thinking on on putting PV, uh, PVS or something. It's a special diode that is uh, uh, specifically designed for uh, for electrostatic discharge, SD. Uh, but also, uh, Schottky diodes are used. They are very, very fast, uh, uh, opening very fast, very quick, uh, opening when when is a um, higher surge. And uh, uh, do that with, with uh, Schottky diodes, because I have uh, uh, 100 of them, uh, brand new, uh, SMD packages, and they are quite uh, small. They're quite small, and I don't like to add them to the board, but uh, because they, they are 
adding too much and adding too much stuff to the board, which is already full of everything. And uh, that is uh, something extra that I really didn't plan plan it. Uh, but I will think in the future very serious about adding some uh, extra uh, SD protection from uh, two Zener, uh, uh, not Zener, uh, shot key diodes. Uh, this is the, actually the, the way of uh, of mounting them. So this is the ground. Sorry for my drawing because actually I should. And this is the uh, shot key diodes like this, I believe. And this is the input. Uh, so input to the integrated chip, uh, chip uh, to the IC, whatever it is, microcontroller, IC, doesn't matter. And here is another short key diodes. And uh, here is the positive rail to whatever voltage, uh, to whatever voltage you have, plus 5 volts, plus uh, 12 volts, whatever. This uh, arrangement that you are seeing here is not made with short key diodes. It is made with uh, rectifying diodes, normal diodes that are a bit slow, a bit more slow than the short key diodes. And uh, this arrangement that you are seeing here, this is the SD, so SD. Uh, protection inside some chips not all the chips are protected with this arrangement here because uh, from what i read uh, yesterday about it it is taking a little bit more space and that's the problem uh, space is a big problem inside a, a specific uh, integrated chip with size so the size of the chip uh, it's it's very important and, and this extra protection uh, is taking space and uh, they don't uh, they sometimes they don't include it but sometimes they are including it and it's very good to have it outside as an extra protection even if the chip is having it inside it so this is a good idea to use uh, shot key diodes and uh, uh, from yeah, this is the best solution. And there is another one, another uh, diode, a special diode is made like this. I forget its name right now, but this is the, the symbol of it. This is the symbol. And this is a special diode uh, that is probably between the two rails uh, mounted, or I don't know, but I like this configuration because it's more um, intuitive and more explicative. You, you you kind of see what is happening, but with this, mm, yeah, not really. Uh, I don't know where to mount it, sincerely. Uh, even uh, uh, to, from uh, input to ground, from input to rail, or from between the two rails altogether. Probably it's between the rails. And uh, yeah, but this, this is a, this is uh, mirroring what is inside the chip, and it's, it's very good, this modality. And uh, it's a bit uh, more stuff to add to, to the board, and also to drag wires to the ground and to the 5 volts, and it's a bit, I don't like it, uh, because uh, I have to specifically design it from the beginning, from the very beginning, and I didn't, here, in the prototype, and uh, Probably I will include it next. And if you have a chip with uh, two inputs and one output, and you have four gates with each two inputs, imagine how many of them you have to put, like uh, eight, eight. Uh, for eight inputs, 16 diodes like this you have to add. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> to, to absolutely, you know, to confer a, a very strong uh, electrostatic discharge protection. And that's shitty. That's very shitty. And it's occupying a lot of space on the board if you have to design it. You have to think about it in the very beginning, not right now when you are in the middle of this shit. So I am very, very, very extremely happy that nothing burned. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I hope you like my, my very high-tech uh, ways of debugging the problem here. <laughs> and uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, not to give up so easily. Like I was planning to give up on it. I was planning to give up on everything. I was, fuck, fuck everything up. <laughs> no, no, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> but uh, I'm very, very extremely happy. Yeah, I still have to, to switch all these uh, things here to fit. That uh, That's a... Uh, uh, inco a little bit of inconvenience, but it's kind of easy to do it. So now nah, I will not complain much about it uh, to, to switch the, the rail. So uh, find ways of, of lifting up your morale. Uh, like I did, I watched a movie, a very good uh, series uh, that I really, really enjoyed. I really, really liked. And it took me out from this problem. And uh, uh, it, it was having a very good story. Uh, uh, Rise of Empires, if you want, really want to know which one I was uh, watching. But doesn't matter what you watch. Uh, just watch something that you really, really enjoy, really, really like. And that is immersive. It is catching you. Uh, it's, it's getting you out from your problems. You forget. Absolutely forget about problems. Have a good sleep. It's very, very important. Have a very good sleep. Uh, get yourself uh, fresh up. Literally and seriously fresh fresh up. To be extremely fresh. And to be extremely... Uh, 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 recharged with, with uh, positive energy and uh, not with negative energy because there is such thing as positive and uh, negative energy uh, in the sense that it will uh, make you depressive if it's uh, negative or if it's positive it will take you out from depression it will give you a little bit more uh, energy to continue uh, working that's the only energy I'm talking about I'm not talking about uh, uh, mystic energy or whatever bullshit uh, uh, mantra tantra yoga no I'm not talking about that, that. I'm talking about uh, working energy about concentrating energy about uh, uh, making stuff energy you know to continue your, your to continue your path, your your direct direction, to be, to stay on your path. That's the energy that I'm talking about. And take whatever necessary, whatever necessary, whatever is lifting you up, whatever is giving you a little bit of impulse and a little bit uh, of energy, if you want, uh, adding to your current, uh, to your low energy that you have as a human and uh, your brain is, is depleted of energy and is giving you a little bit more energy. Take it, take it and be conscient about it and use it in your favor. And... Uh, and, uh, and uh, let it uh, let your brain uh, recharge overnight. Uh, have a very good sleep. Um, usually, I am I am having uh, uh, periods of uh, of uh, not uh, being able to sleep 
And uh, uh, when I, 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 I'm rolling inside my bed and I, I cannot sleep, and I, uh, but uh, one solution, one very good uh, medical solution that I found and is having a very good effect on me, and I'm sleeping very quickly after I'm, I'm doing it, is simply drinking a lot of water. Like uh, if 100 milliliters, 200 milliliters of water, like a full glass, full glass of water, even two glasses of water, to be a bit extra full of water, you know, like that, and go in your bed, uh, lay down, and you will sleep like, uh, like, like very very quickly. Uh, it is uh, also good not to drink it cold. It is good to drink it uh, a little bit uh, warm. So you, uh, if you can warm it up a little bit, it's also better. And another uh, solution is to use milk, uh, warm milk. If you have uh, some milk in your house, put it to warm it up, and uh, you will uh, drink it also a uh, full glass of milk and uh, go to sleep, and you will sleep like like that. You don't have you don't need pills. There are. Uh, a lot of uh, natural solutions you you must do you 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 have at your disposition and you must be smart enough to choose which is good and what uh, what is bad and uh, but that's the idea lift yourself up uh, to continue to to give yourself energy to work to concentrate to do your to continue your path towards your goal because that's all all that matters thank you very much all right so i uh, managed to change every wire that is coming from these pads here this outputs here to each rail here if this chip is counting in this direction, also these LEDs should go in this direction as well. And they are right now. And if I'm switching back, the, the sense is moving from right to left and also here on the bottom as well. So what I did, uh, I literally took out uh, all four wires that were going to these points before and I made the new points and I marked with a more black marker here, here, here and here, like on a musical sheet. So this wire here that you can barely see it, but it's there a little bit bent and also there. Uh, so this guy here is from this pad. In, uh, before it was uh, that from that pad, to this part, uh, to this rail on the top. So I literally, I took this wire that was here and mounted here. I took them completely. Every wire, I took them uh, completely out. Why? Because I have this more thicker wire here, which are very close to this uh, negative rail. They are not close. I have uh, quite a good distance between them, but uh, I don't want to risk it. And I put some uh, a bit more thicker wire to actually to bend it and to stay remain bent as, uh, like that because they are very close on the bottom rail here and very close to that negative rail that I have on the other side. And I want, don't want to fuck it up, you know. And uh, this one is also quite low here. So I put two thick wires that are staying bent on position. And here, and here, for these two LEDs, I put a uh, very, very, very thin wire. You can barely see it, but it's there. You see it? This guy here. And here as well, you can, this one you can, you probably don't actually see it. Eh? Can you see it? I'm actually looking through my phone. This guy here, this is the wire. And they are very, very thin. You see it here? How thin it is? It's coming through that hole and it's catching here on this rail. And I switch them. These thin wires were on top, but on the other side here. And these thick wires that are currently here were here on the bottom on the other side. So I had to take them out and very much replace the position and the wires as well. So, it, so I, don't, I didn't take it out from this point and insert it into this point and link it here, as you may may uh, think is easier. I did think is easier, but because I have these thickness differences, uh, I had to actually replace them uh, all together uh, and, and swap swap them uh, inverse. So I hope you get it. I hope you like it. Uh, problem solved with, with the direction. And uh, yeah. and also uh, I, I connected it here. This is temporary here. It will be linked to this switch and it will switch between uh, this board and that board pretty much. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this entire board that I have. The entire board is, is functioning correctly. And of course I didn't escape from problems because right now I have a fucked up uh, a little when they all are lit up. And also this LED is turning off when all of them are uh, on. Uh, because I, I, I find the problem uh, was, say, uh, you cannot possibly see it. Probably. Yeah, you see, if I'm dragging this wire, the entire board is coming up. This motherfucker wire is too thin. Uh, it uh, it broke. And I took it out from its connection that was there. It was behind the board and I couldn't uh, realize. But I followed the logic. Uh, only one, uh, this LED here, only one, this LED is all lit. So it must have been from, from uh, this pad, the problem. And uh, it was this motherfucker broken uh, wire. Very, very thin. So I have to replace it and uh, it'll work. It'll work. All right. All right, I changed the motherfucker wire and everything is working absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit strange. It's not exactly as here. For some reason, I, I have no idea why. Probably these uh, transistors are interfering. I have no idea. But it's not uh, one LED corresponding to the first one. You know, that's the hmm, very strange. But it doesn't matter that. The, the, what it matters is that it's following the, all the, uh, this direction. Is And here on this board is two by two. And here on this board is one by one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Everything is working absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fine. I'm very super happy about 4017. Did I told you I am very happy about 4017? They are not uh, burned up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yes, I'm very, very close to finalizing this entire board. And this switch, motherfucker, uh, this switch was a little bit uh, funky, uh, hard to, uh, to add it here uh, extra. But uh, that's the beauty of uh, prototyping with cardboards and paper. Uh, here is some paper. This fence. <laughs> uh, is it? This is a fence, a vertical fence that I have here. You see? Huh? You see? And uh, 
this is plain paper, uh, but the rest are cardboards with different thickness. And uh, it's very easy to prototype with this. You don't need the special motherfucker uh, boards that you have to pay for them. Uh, you can do it for free. Uh, it All that it takes is a lot of time to actually create the trucks, create the pads where you have to uh, solder the components. But if you get over it, and if you are comfortable, well, I am not comfortable, but I like the cheapness uh, that I can get and the functionality with this kind of cheapness. That's the, the idea, you know? So yeah, it is possible. This is what I'm demonstrating here, that it is possible to, to make everything from cardboard. Everything that you see here on this very large mod module and here, everything there and here are built on cardboards, absolutely on cardboard. And, and it's very super complicated what I did here and it's functioning fine on cardboards. That's the idea. If you really, really want it, you can do it on anything without paying. In this capitalist, you cannot afford to pay anything because everything is too expensive and we are poor, we don't have money, we don't have a job and uh, it's for more than 10 years and it's, it's like that. You, know, you cannot actually live. You know, uh, you, you have to, to find a way, to find solutions. And this is my solution. Thank you very much. And success. I managed to make the switch between the two modes. Absolutely. Uh, almost perfect uh, because I didn't uh, think about the order of these wires. It should be inverse than it is right now. But it's good enough for me uh, because they, they are this way when I'm switching, uh, the motor is... Uh, inversing rotation uh so i have to rewire those wires <laughs> pretty much but if i'm switching to uh so when I'm, I'm pushing it up is switching to this one single mode let me actually slow it down that's it it's, you can hear it and uh this button uh this module here is not functioning is not powered but uh and this is signaling that this led is signaling that this board is lit up and when i'm switching here is uh power this converter that i have here through all this module and uh, the sound is a little bit different. Let me switch again back. You can hear the, the difference. This is uh, one by one, the wave mode. Now I switch it. And this is the full full drive mode. And this is like... It is a slight difference, I can hear it. And uh, this is telling me the, the switching between the two modes works. Fucking finally. <laughs> it was a pain in, uh, in us to actually make everything here, all the switch through all the modes and the transistors. I wasn't sure if these transistors will deliver. I was sure about this, guys, because I tested them here. Um, by the way, I I'm not using them at all right now. I'm just putting the wires on those lines, actually. On these yellow lines, I'm putting the wires exactly on, the on them, but not through those transistors. And uh, it is working. Uh, I managed to push up the speed, but the problem is... very very fragile when i'm turning this knob here is it's jumping very quickly to very high speed but i managed to make it spin very very fast like this but it's, it's very tricky with that potentiometer that i have there and it's running uh, quite uh, nicely also the um, the amperage got down to half as it was 500 milliamps almost now it's 230 uh for the the full step drive here and everything is staying lit uh, because the frequency is super high and um but the motor is not spinning that fast, actually. That is good enough. And when I'm switching, that's the problem. When I'm switching to the other mode, the motor just stops. And I have to uh, bring it down to a... Huh? It's not liking something. It worked. It worked before. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Yeah, a... Fucking shit. Yeah, well, it's working. <laughs> yeah, I'm not completely sure about this uh, switch, multi-switch uh, outputs, but uh, it's doing something. <laughs> it's working. And if I'm speeding up, this is for uh, wave mode. Like that. And you can hear it as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good, it's good. I'm kind of happy right now, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy. It's working. It's not the best. Uh, the the idea of everything I build here. This is very nice. <laughs> yeah, on the other sense, if I'm switching the sense, sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. I don't know. When I'm switching the. Yeah, it's something definitely doesn't like it. Mm, motherfucker. But only in one sense it likes. It's disliking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good enough. But this is it for this part. Alright, um, well... 
what can I say? Uh, I believe the project is finished. I might add some stuff to it. Uh, I was discussing with my English friend, uh, who is very, very generous to me uh, in the sense that uh, we talked. He, he is patient and uh, and uh, he listens and uh, it's a good, very good friend. It's exactly what I wanted actually, <laughs> and I very much thank him. Uh, but I was discussing with him and he proposed another uh, to use another chip. I forget for the moment. Uh, instead of this uh, thing that I have here, uh, to use a single chip, uh, I, I think it was a shift register uh, that was shifting. Uh, we were uh, we were following um, an older circuit. Uh, pro most probably, uh, I, I kind of forget right now. But uh, pro most probably we followed uh, an older circuit diagram uh, some time ago and uh, he got stuck with, with that uh, chip. He built it also on his bench, not as uh, weird uh, as I built it here. He used, uh, he doesn't use uh, uh, breadboard like I'm using, he's using uh, uh, boards. Uh, I, I believe they are called prototyping boards. Uh, let me actually show you my stuff that I have here. I don't have much. No. Uh, not the transfer. Or th this one's probably this one's. Uh, probably something like this he is using. Uh, prototyping boards with many holes and uh, many pads already built in. And I have uh, a few of them, not many. I bought them uh, for experimentation, but I didn't use any of it yet uh, because those are for special 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 very very special occasions and uh, i'm very very comfortable already with making everything on on these cardboards which is very uh, cheap extremely cheap it's a bit more work to do but uh, but it's good enough uh, for me it's absolutely fine to i have the patience and everything and uh, uh this might be the final project right here i will conclude it as it is i'm not happy <laughs> with it uh i might add some uh some upgrades to, to the, this entire project. Uh, it already eaten uh, two months. No, m probably more than two months. Right now is the day is zero four. The month is zero three, and the year is uh, twenty twenty three. So uh, it's uh, on Saturday. Some Sim uh, is in Romanian. It means uh, Saturday. And uh, at this time, uh, I spent a bit more than two months. Uh, probably three months. I started before the New Year Year's Eve. Probably one month before New Year's Eve. Eve. I, I don't remember exactly when I started it, but anyway, I, I, I was working. On that time, on the New Year's Eve, uh, I was still working on this project, building it, and uh, you know, I'm I don't have too much anything else much to do. So, <laughs> uh, uh, at some settings, uh, why uh, why I'm saying I'm not uh, very happy with uh, with the current uh, thing that I have here is not the output is not actually as I wanted it to be. I mean, I, I get an output, I get a, that the motor is working, but uh, I don't know how to explain it better. Uh, from some point of views, uh, I did play with a lot of chips and a lot of logic chips and a lot of logic uh, uh, circuitry in general. I built the internals, the interior uh, circuit of an entire chip here and here. And I played a lot of, with logic uh, circuitry in general. And uh, that was one of the um, my ambitious plan to learn a little bit more about uh, logic circuits. Uh, logic circuits in general. Uh, like counters, flip flops, um, timers. Why not? Uh, <laughs> well, the timers uh, didn't. Uh, I didn't have to, to learn it because it's uh, the 555 timer is one of my uh, uh, base uh, chip that I'm using it everywhere. It's extremely good for a lot of things. The 555 timer, including here, it is there. You can see it 555. Uh, but is I didn't had I didn't want to learn about 555 timer, but I want to, I wanted to learn about the uh, logic circuitry in general, how to make connections, how to get used to it, how to get uh, comfortable with it. And uh, pretty much I, I, I have a, a better idea right now after building everything, this entire project, uh, than it, I had it before. I, when I was uh, thinking at logic uh, gates and logic circuitry and logic uh, integrated circuits ICs before, I, wasn't, I was a bit uh, scared uh, or unsure. That's the better word. I was very unsure what a uh, logic circuit uh, can and can do and cannot do. And um, also measures of protections and uh, for ESD, uh, electrostatic discharge. They are, every chip uh, is very sensitive to electrostatic discharge, so you have to you must take measures of protection of protecting them while you are working with them. And uh, that's one point of this. Uh, that was the, the main point, the number one uh, reason I started all this project. And I choose, I stay and choose a project how to where to use all this uh, logic circuit. And I choose this motor driving thing as a very good uh, for me at least was a very good. Uh, motivation uh, to continue the project and to stay on the project. Yeah. Really? Uh, probably this get out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like my resolve like this? <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, so that was the number one reason, uh, this project, to use logic circuitry. So it's clear enough right now. The second reason uh, was a bit, a bit mischievous uh, reason because uh, I wanted to get rid, <laughs> as you already know, uh, to get rid of a lot of uh, very old, very unused, and uh, the components that were staying and laying down and doing nothing. And I really had to 
to try. I scratched my head uh, uh, quite uh, quite some time because I really wanted to, to get rid of them, but into a meaningful project. And this was quite meaningful, quite educative, at least for me. And if it is for you, the one who is watching, uh, I don't know, if it's... Um, uh, if, if it is influencing you to, to start something similar, don't really copy. Or you can copy my project. I don't care. Really, I don't care. Uh, as long as you learn something. But I will suggest to you to, to start something of your own and think of it because that's the learning occurs when you actually stay, stay and think of it. And copy a, a couple of uh, stuff from here and there. And uh, you know how I did that part, how I did that part. But then think for yourself. That's what I'm suggesting. But uh, if you want to copy it, feel free. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care because this was a uh, very uh, teachable teaching experience for me. And I did learn something. Not a lot, not as much as I wanted, but uh, I am more comfortable with specific chips, like 4017s, which I really love them, the um, counters, uh, the decimal counters. Uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I, I had to read a lot of stuff and uh, their, their data sheets and get used to them. And I had to get into the current driving, which right now at this point is not... Um, it's kind of finished, but it's not really, because uh, I had to deal with this board here that I have. And... To actually finalize the, the entire project, as you can see, it's partially on these breadboards and partially finite on these cardboards that I have here. This, these are final boards. What you are seeing here and here are final. But these are testing. I can change very quickly. And I, so it's my project right now. I'm saying it's done, but uh, it's half of it on the breadboards. Uh, but the logic, what I have here, the logic is done. Uh, that's why I'm saying it. it's partially. This project is finished, and uh, for the, at least for the logic side. Or maybe I will add another chip, like I was discussing with uh, with my friend uh, from England. Uh, from the country of queens and emperors <laughs> and kings. Uh, but uh, uh, to actually finish this project, I will have to put, to get rid of these uh, breadboards here and to make a final cardboard for everything that is already here on the breadboards. And for that, uh, uh, I'm not completely sure about what I have here. And uh, that L298, uh, I think it was. And uh, uh, motor driver, this is a current driver. And I was. Actually, this didn't work as expected. I have a ton of uh, problems. Actually, the only problem that I have here is the potentiometer that is not linear. And uh, for the current driving, uh, when, I, when I'm switching the current up and down, it's not linear. It's jumping very quickly uh, to maximum and jumping very quickly to zero. And it's uh, not really, uh, you know, switchable. I, I cannot linearly go through multiple current levels, pretty much. And uh, that's uh, that's the main problem that I have here. But this is only affecting the the current of the motor. But from what I learned, especially for uh, stepper motors and for other motors uh, as well, probably this idea is still uh, correct. Uh, by applying uh, a higher voltage than it is uh, built at, uh, for example, this, this motor is uh, in its data sheet, it says uh, 4.1 volts, it must run at 800 millions. And, uh, but by high heightening, by raising the voltage, uh, you also, uh, uh, it's like a trick, you know, you, you are tricking the coils to run uh, at a lower current, current, but higher voltage. But the wattage is the same, pretty much. The wattage that is consumed is the same as you know the, the values that they give you in the data sheet. And uh, it is a, a, a normal way. It's not a trick that I am using. I actually read a, a couple of papers uh, on the internet, and uh, my friend uh, actually helped me quite quite a lot with this part with the motor uh, because I, I didn't really quite understood it perfectly, and uh, I did learn uh, quite a lot. So, in other words, what I need here, uh, this is only half of the problem: current driving. I need also a voltage driving as well. So, uh, what this my power supply that I have variable power supply that I have there. That's or that one as well. That's actually for motors, <laughs> for bigger motors. Uh, I took it specially for bigger motors, and in the case I need them, uh, I need it. But this is for small stuff in general, small motors, anything. And uh, uh, pretty much my idea is to get rid of this chip that I have here and build a variable power supply like I'm having there, but uh, only the basic of the power supply to vary the vo voltage and variating the amperage. I already find a circuit that is doing that, and that will sit <coughs> in the in the driving exactly how it is right now. I know you don't understand anything from all these wires, but the motor is getting current through this chip and the current is coming from this variable power supply. So th this variable power supply is coming to uh, one pin here on, on this chip and getting out on a negative pin also of this chip, but also through this coil, to the, through the coils of the motor and it's circulating uh, to the coil of the motor and then getting out. Pretty much that's the idea. So instead of uh, of this chip that I'm having here, I will uh, have to put this uh, signal wires that I have here, the commanding wires directly on this uh, motor driving chip that I have, uh, L298, and put a variable power supply with uh, variating uh, voltage and current, both of them because they are important. And, uh, on, and that will solve a lot of problems uh, depending how many motors I will test. Uh, it, it's at least my idea uh, for the moment. So six, this chip is very troublesome. You have to actually have a mind of a mathematician for it. You have to actually calculate a lot of stuff. Uh, the current that is uh, uh, running through the motor, the current that is running through this sense resistors that you can see here, the blue ones. And it's, it's a bit more trickier to use it and to drive it. And uh, I don't like it. It's not user friendly. Not by far. It's it's more engineer friendly than uh, artist like me <laughs> friendly, or you, you know the, the general the usual Joe <laughs> that is using stuff like this. And um, I don't like it. I don't really like it. 
Although I understood and I, and I learned a lot of stuff with it uh, because of it, uh, but uh, I really don't need all that stuff. My simpler solution is to add a, a variable voltage and current regulator somewhere uh, and uh, feed directly the coils with with the with the, the voltage that I choose and the amperage that I choose there on the spot, and not be not to not to have to calculate anything, you know, and change resistors and change the the the. Um, uh, the properties of some uh, pins uh, to have more voltage, more current, it's uh, a bit uh, hard, hardcore. It's a bit too much hardcore and there are simpler solutions. It's, this is all that I'm saying. Uh, and all all this being said, uh, uh, I hope uh, it, it is getting some sense. It's, uh, I hope you understand my project, what I did here so far, uh, even if you didn't understood it uh, until now, but now I hope I'm clear, more clear than before. And uh, I don't know if I will actually continue this project from now on, because it is functional as it is. And it was a teaching circuit, but not really. Uh, what I, uh, another very important point: this project is more uh, better suited for real engineers, not for uh, artists, electronists uh, like I am. And um, I mean, I know to do some stuff. I'm good at some stuff, but not everything. And I, and I admit it. Uh, I'm good to, until some point, but after that point, uh, after there, there is too much unknown and too much to learn and I really don't have all the time in the world to learn everything on specific because this is electronics. Electronics is very very specific uh, per, uh, uh, per components that you are using. If you want to, to drive separate motors you have to learn specifically all the electronics that is involved on driving the separate motors and all the commands and, and everything and, and it's, it's a bit more complicated and I kind of give up <laughs> because it took me too much time to get where I, where I am right now. A ton of errors that I am uh, sick of. Pretty much I'm sick of problems and it was complicated very very complicated for me at least, and I made it work in the uh, in the in the end. I made it work, which is good. But um, <coughs> I, uh, one final thing I want to show you that um, the idea of stepping uh, stepping at an angle. That's the idea of this project. That was the starting idea to to make the to make the uh, the motor step uh, step in one at, at a, a certain angle to 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 control the angle of the, uh, the motor how it's spinning. That was the entire idea from the very beginning. And that's all this circuit is doing, actually. And right now, I get that that stage. If I'm pressing this button here, it's counting to whatever I put there to count. Uh, it's uh, probably 16 or 15. No, th that's 15. But I have some problems in the display there. Only the display is uh, running uh, weird there. But the circuit itself is, is running fine. Now, now it's good. <laughs> uh, so, so that's the thing. If I'm pressing that button, as you can see, and it's stop, it's stopping. So this where is under. And it's not doing what I want. Because it's so weak, it cannot... is impeded by that piece of paper. Unbelievable. It's a very weak motor. Very, very weak motor. And very expensive. And I am so pissed off of it. This one is very good, actually. This one is very good. I, li I like it. But uh, this motherfucker shit is... And this one, no. Nah. This is also very good motor. But these are new. This is new. And this is new. And this is a piece of shit. What I don't... I still don't know how to drive it correctly. And right now, it's fucking around. I don't know why. It shouldn't. Yeah, uh, I have noticed uh, in some direction. If I'm switching the direction, uh, uh, in some, uh, if I'm running it from, you know, which is this? From left to right is getting this uh, taka 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 back and forth. But if I'm switching here on the other, from right to left, uh, it is behaving very very nicely, as you can see. So theoretically, what I not theoretically, practically, what I have already here, if I'm switching to a certain step, uh, not at a certain counting, if I'm count, if I want to count to to four uh, or to eight or to twelve or whatever or to eleven, and I. And I pressing this button, it will count to there, to that number, and this motor will perform those steps. You see, uh, and then stop. And this means that my motor will go to a certain angle and wait for the next command that I'm giving it. Pretty much, this was the entire project that I wanted to build here. And at this point, right now, right here, it is doing exactly what I wanted from the very beginning. So, project finished. In other words, I don't know if I will continue it. Uh, to continue. Like I said, to build a specific board for this too, probably with a variable voltage and amperage, only for the coils of the motor itself, uh, through that motor driver and even a bigger motor driver that I have it here, which is actually mirroring the internal circuit of L298 here. This is the mirror of that, and I have it here, and it's functioning perfectly, and uh, I really like it. Uh, but this is not having that much logic circuit like that I have. I'm having here. Uh, I'm also. I'm I'm not that sure of this uh, switching multiple switch uh, transistors. Probably that back and forth that I'm getting. Let me. You see, this this weird stepping that I'm having here. Probably it's because of this multi switch um, thing. But the other one is working absolutely fine. And when it, when it's set to that side and press here, is phenomenally good, extremely good. Only in one sense. So one switch is performing extremely good, but the other probably is uh, adding some sort of uh, weird uh, signal. And is is not really uh, 
They're finding good enough, you know. Let me switch it again and show it. You see? It's the good the good the good You hear it? It's like it's like it's having some some weird uh pauses in, inside it, inside the the, the, the rhythm, the, the signal. And uh yeah, it's I believe it's because of this weird uh, transistors that I have here, probably. I didn't change these uh, wires here. I should have changed them. But yeah. Uh, that's, th uh, this concludes my project that I'm having here. I don't know if I will continue it. And uh, that is that. Thank you very much for watching until here. And uh, the goal of this project was attained. And uh, I did learn quite a lot. And if you learned alongside me <laughs> something, then good for you. <laughs> and uh, good for me. <laughs> I'm a good teacher. <laughs> if not, then, yeah, well, <laughs> that's that's it. I'm very upset on the Americans. The Americans didn't really, they didn't have the patience to help me, but the English guys, they did have the patience. And uh, partially po Polish guys, I believe, I don't know, from Poland. And uh, yeah, well, we here in the Europe, we have the same mentality, a bit uh, slow, but uh, uh, slowly, but surely, you know. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for everyone and uh, see you later.